One of the key reasons we want to save stuff to a file is to save data to secondary storage. If it's just sat in RAM, like a normal variable or list would be, it gets lost once our program finishes. So if I do want to save something to a file, I need to go for a three step process. Step one is to open the file. Step two is to, well, in this case, write something to the file. And step three is to close the file. So to open a file, we need to first of all set a variable. Doesn't matter what it's called. Let's call it file. And we set it to be equal to open. And the open function takes two parameters. The first parameter is the file name, which if you haven't got a file made already, you can just pick a name. Let's just call this test.txt. The second parameter is what mode we are opening it with. And for writing, there are two modes we'll look at. First one is W, short for writing. This line will create the file if it hasn't been already created. To write something to it, we need to use our variable and go dot write. And it always has to be a string we are writing to this file. And the last step is to close it. Really important to not cause corruption. We need to do file.close bracket bracket. Now, if I show you the folder this is in, right now this folder just has this Python file in it. However, if I run the code, we won't see any output in the Python shell because it's not printing anything. But if I now go back to this folder, I can see it's created a test.txt file. And if I open it, it says hello inside it. Now we can extend this here. I've just asked for users to enter their name. So it's going to say hello and their name. I can type in a name and now says hello, Mr. Brown in the file. If you want stuff to go onto separate lines, it won't do that automatically. You need to do a backslash N and backslash N in computer science tells the computer to go onto a new line. It won't write this, it's hidden. This time around, we've got a new line. And we can see Mr. Brown is gone. It's now Mr. Blue. That's because the W mode resets the file every single time you run the code. So it deletes what was there previously and overwrites it. A better word for this would be overwrite. If you want to add stuff to the file, we need to change the mode to A, which is short for append. And this time, if I type in a whole new person, we will see this gets added to the file. It doesn't overwrite it. 